Hello and welcome back to a natural ones campaign. The fate of Vandera. <laughs> Hello there, I'm your DM. Welcome back to another beautiful campaign. Meet our heroes. Hi. Hi. Uh, What's up, guys? Last session, they fought this Slade that went through three transformations. Uh, Druina absolutely murdered it uh, in its final form with a nat 20. It failed its roll, insta-death, crazy. Uh, in general, Grim was a big player in keeping this thing from being as strong as it was going to be. It was pretty impressive. But as soon as they finished taking care of this monster, nuts and bolts and bolts and nuts, and thank the adventurers for helping them, uh, helping take care of this monster. And then as soon as that happened, the our adventurers heard screaming in the village, and Druina specifically saw the woman who helped take care of her her first <laughs> night here has been decapitated and killed, including her daughter. And in Dr Drugan in his in his rage immediately went and attacked nuts and bolts. Did beat the shit out of him, but now has been deemed a heretic by the Warforges because he said, "Fuck your god." <laughs> so, yeah. So top of the initiative, Druina. Okay. In this moment. What is Druina going to do in this moment? I'm going to cast Guidance, for one. Guidance? Okay. And I was... It, it's an action to try and convince them, right? Yeah. It is an action to, uh, to not have disadvantage to convince them. Uh, well, okay. So here's the deal. Mm -hmm. You have to do an insight first to see if you know what's like what they're thinking. Okay. I'll go ahead and do that first then. I'll do an insight. I'm not gonna use my guidance. I'm just gonna use my guidance. Nineteen. Nineteen? Okay. You can tell that these these guys are only going after Drugan. And the villagers because they uh, they have been deemed heretics. Okay. So you're going to try to persuade them. I'm gonna try and persuade them that like Drugan isn't feeling well. He was just in a coma recently. Okay. And I we're need... trying to get him back to our school to see what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to need. I'm gonna need a persuasion check. Mm -hmm. Uh, I will be honest. This is a high DC. So give me your persuasion. One or two. It's just one. It it's the, just one. Okay. And then because you cast guidance on you, you can add a D4 to whatever you yep. roll. And then it's also persuasion, right? That's persuasion. Okay. I have plus two to that as well. Okay. 19, natural 19. Mm -hmm. 21 mm -hmm. with my plus two persuasion. Okay. 25. 25 just hits. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Nuts and bolts looks at you and says, By any chance, why was Drugan in a coma to uh, asleep? We went through a quest <laughs> in a labyrinth and let's just say somebody casted a spell on him and it knocked him out. Roll me a deception check. Okay. Oh, fuck. Can I, since I got the persuasion, could I roll it with advantage? No. no? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Can I support? You said deception, right? 
Uh, no, you cannot help in this interaction. Damn. Yes, deception. Natural 20. Natural 20? All right. I was going to say this dude did also roll a 19 plus, uh, he has plus five. To it. <laughs> so, uh, you luckily did, uh, outbeat his insight. Um, he looks at you <laughs> and says, I see. He stands back up. He says, he looks at Drugan and says, as an HTA student, I do apologize for calling you a heretic. I see that you are in rage as a barbarian. Please remember to keep your anger in check. They are supposed to teach you that. And next time you ever speak badly about the seven fates, the entirety of the church will hunt you down and kill you. With that, we will continue our mission of killing the heretics in this village. So, with that... It is up, so so the, it is going to be their turn. You will see that they will start entering houses to kill the rest of the villagers in the town. Nuts and bolts will stay, are staying in front of you. Wait, are they facing towards me? Uh, there is now, uh, the person who was behind, the warforge that was behind you just entered the house next to you. So, Grim. I, st I still. Oh wait. Oh, my bad. So with that, it is now. Grim violently starts sobbing for Real the quick. first time ever in front of everyone. Nuts and bolts and bolts and nuts are still in front of you guys, Morzan. It is technically your turn. It is your choice on what you do in this moment. You do in this moment. You do. You do hear screaming from villagers being murdered in this town. Also, real quick, Druina, is that right? Yes. He pulls out. He pulls out a. He pulls out a map, with of uh, Liberio. He asks for you to mark the labyrinth you guys visited. Can you please mark the labyrinth that you guys were, went on a quest in? Mark it incorrectly. I'm gonna mark it incorrectly. You're gonna mark it incorrectly. I need another. This one is going to be another deception check. Okay. Deception? Mm hmm. Y'all want to cast good vibes on this one? <laughs> cast good vibes, cast good vibes. Blow on it, blow on it. Because I have a plus zero to deception, you guys. Natural 19. Natural 19. Okay. I'm going to tell you this. Uh -huh. I'm rolling right now. Again, he has a plus 5 to insight. He is also... He is going to roll with advantage. And I will explain why he is rolling with advantage in a moment. His first roll was a 6, so he didn't make it. The second roll... He rolled an 18. So oh. He does not make your... He does not incite your thing. You see him, as soon as you mark it, he looks at it. You see him look up in the air, and then you see a little antenna point pop out of his head and starts beeping. And then he it shots back, and he says, Hmm, it seems like the aberration is still has, has still caused interference in this area. Sadly, I cannot c connect to the HTA. Well, I will believe you. Because you are HTA students and you have been selected by the Seven Fates. Also, uh, by any chance, was the Labyrinth the reason why you guys have appeared here? Or do you have a quest out here? Labyrinth brought us here. Okay. A uh, do you guys need help getting back to the uh, town? Or back to the HTA? It would be appreciated. Okay. Morzan, it is still your turn. You still have a choice to make. <laughs> I got an idea. What, what will Morzan do in this situation? 
I'm sorry, guys, if I'm not making the decisions that you guys want. I'm so sorry. Play as your character, not what we would want. Exactly. Yeah, I, know. I know. Same thing for Morzan. What would Morzan do in this situation? This is Morzan's home continent. <laughs> the dilemma of a player. What would my character do in this moment? I will. I will. I will start count, counting down in a moment of your decision. All right. And five. Long way up. What is Marzan going to do? Five, four, three, two, one. I need a decision. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We're we're gonna. I know bad business when I see it. Let's play nice. We have no choice. The Morzan is going to hold his tongue and not attack. No, I'm not gonna attack. Okay. The Next. Is Next is Jebediah. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Jebediah rolls. Okay, so he makes the insight. You see Jebediah immediately turns and dashes away. Next is Drugan. Drugan? You Druina has just convinced these guys you are not a heretic. What will Drugan do in this moment? He hears screaming from villagers being murdered. What is Drugan going to do in this moment? Drugan, with your... Uh, I rolled the perception and the insight. Yep. To All right. no I noticed Grim start to actually cry next to me. With your insight, uh, I will say... Um, it was only 11. I will leave this up to Grim. Would would Drugan un, uh, understand why Grim? You would not. No one knows except Jebediah. But she rolled an eight. Conceal. So Drugan, uh, what would Drugan get from this insight on Grim? He would see. Grim is on her knees, and she is clutching the dirt that is on the ground, and she is just wailing back into the earth, because in her mind, she knows this is what happened to her village and the people that she cared about, and she cannot stop muttering. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's not going to know all of that, but he's going to know that this is not the side of Grim that he knows and there's something deeper going on. He knows everyone's pretty badly hurt and we're severely outnumbered. I'm going to use a bonus action to get rid of my rage. And I'm just going to kneel down next to him. Okay. Candor. It is now your turn. Again. Is there, hear... is there a chance I know what cures this bullshit? Uh, can I get just a raw intelligence check? Okay. Raw intelligence. Na unnatural 20. Unnatural 20. Uh... Yeah, it's just a. I mean, it's it's simply put. Just somebody has to just uh, specifically. Uh, you know, Jebediah can do it. Uh, he has. Uh, he has a uh, restoration. Uh, he just need. You just need. You just need someone to cast a restoration spell on you. Run simple. after Jebediah. Just be like, hey, before you go. <laughs> just fuck you, dick. 
Uh, though, uh, Candor. Yes. Because where you're at, you can see this. You're watching a fan. Uh, you're watching two guys who were just having a nice drink, getting gutted, eviscerated in this in their house. All right. And you see one of them, you see the the automaton grab him by the neck with both hands, and you see him rip his head off. I need a question answered. Alrighty. Actually, what's what's this thing that I'm standing next to besides this house? This thing oh my bad, I didn't mean to move it. Uh this thing right here. <laughs> this thing? Yeah, right here. Oh, oh this that like that's a... that's there, it's just a this is a wall. You see a little booth next to you. That uh you only see the back side of the booth. It looks like it's like a little hut. Guys, I love you. Can I climb it? You can. Uh can I get an athletic check? Wait, wait, wait. Since they're all focused on something else, would they notice me? Or do I have to do a sneak check? Uh, it's an athletics. Okay. They they notice you guys. They just they're they're just not caring. Because they see that you guys are HTA students. They just because you guys are you guys are from the 19. HTA. Nineteen. You easily vault over this wall. You're on the other side. No, I wanted to climb on top of it. Oh, I mean, okay, then you're on top. Okay. Though I will say, oh. if you want to move on top of the hut or move on top of the building, it would be, uh, uh, you would have to wait till uh, next turn to be able to uh, do another. Actually, no way. Yes, you would have to wait till next turn because you already used your action to climb up on the wall. Okay. I'm going to make it obvious where my teammates can see it. <laughs> Real quick, actually, can I get an insight check? For, or not insight, a perception check from you is where you're standing. All right, hold on. And this with advantage. All right, hold on. Real quick, wait, wait, wait. All right. You. Perception with advantage. So. Perception with advantage. So give me two good old D twenties. Twenty one. And an eighteen. So right, twenty one. You, you see this. You see a giant, a Titan Warforged bursting out of the mansion. And you see it you see that it's like and it's like little uh you can see like in one of its smaller hands it's holding the it's holding by like the like scruff of his like collar you see a guy in an all white suit lizard man being carried by this titan warforged toward and it's heading towards the middle like to where you guys are the mayor Wait, can I? Hold on. Wait, can I use a bonus action to dash? No, you're not a rogue. Oh wait, that's true. Um, the thing is, even with your movement, the only thing you can do is your movement is hop off the wall. Like you have to wait till next turn to be able to move on top of anything else in this area. I but you you guys can see me, right? Yeah, they 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 okay. can see you. So maybe they have an idea of what I'm doing. Not really. Grim is not looking up at all. Like, yeah, Gr Grim, Grim is probably the only one who, is, yeah, is just not paying attention whatsoever. And Jebediah I dipped. <laughs> Fuck him. Fucking bitch. And they say he was a fucking champion. I will say, as soon as uh, Jebediah does dip, you you guys who are next to the nuts and bolts and bolts and nuts says, 
Uh, he's not going to make this easy on us, is he? Well, no worries. The way he's heading, he'll be running into those two. Alright, what's next, guys? Alright, next is Grim. Grim, you are absolutely a mess right now. Memories of your village, what happened. You do hear them say, the two inquisitors, the nuts and bolts and bolts and nuts say they're going to run into those, the, he's going to run into those two. Would you like to do an inside check? Yeah. Twenty. A twenty? With just natural twenty plus my inside. A nat twenty. A plus four, which is a twenty-four. Okay, <laughs> Grim. Dying, Grim, even in this fucked up state, the state of shock. When you hear that, you look up, and you can tell that they're talking about two other inquisitors. You know an inquisitor. You know of a specific inquisitor. That destroyed your life, destroyed your village. What does Grim do in this situation? Does she say anything? Does she do anything in this situation? Her voice is now crackled and hoarse from sobbing, and she barely manages to let out you're all fucking cowards they turn to you and because they're warforged you can't really tell if they're smiling or not but because of your insight you can tell that bolts and nuts and nuts and bolts are in their own weird way of being mechanical Crack a smile and say, I recognize you. You're from, you're from one of those gnomish villages that was deemed heretics. Am I right? Grim cracks. A devilishly evil smile that shows both her top and bottom fangs and says, do you want to get acquainted? Can I get... Actually, real quick, right here, right now. Okay. I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna roll this. This is pure luck. This is a, just a pure luck roll. You want a high number. You want a high number to prevent them from doing what they will potentially do. They rolled a high number. They look at you and say, Don't have us mistaken. You, luckily, are not deemed a heretic because you were selected by the Seven Fates to attend to HTA. Your village was, but you are not. And also... I want to roll insight on Grim during this. We wish you... <laughs> I'm going to wait for no his harm. insight roll because I just rolled natural one to keep my mouth shut. He rolled a 16. <laughs> I'm putting my hand directly over her mouth. When he does that, I bite deep into his head. We'll say that's just deep. We'll just say that's four damage for that bite. But he, we will still say that he does keep you silent. Okay. With that, it is now Emerson's turn. Emerson speaks into your head. Grim, what do you want me to do?
Sacrifice. Can I just say? Sacrifice. Can I just say it in my head? Do I? Does the party have to hear me talk to him, or is it like telepathic? It, it's just tele. It's just telepathically. So He's... the thoughts of the word comfort just flashes across her mind because she can't really put into sentences. As soon as as soon as he as soon as he realizes that he transforms back into his fox spirit and crawls into your lap. And starts nuzzling you. Okay. With that, you guys hear it coming. A giant war forged. It roll it comes towards the wall. Ah, oh, fuck! And <laughs> I need a dexterity saving throw for, or a dex, yeah, dexterity, a dexterity. We'll just say dexterity saving throw. We'll say dexterity saving throw, DC, uh, fifteen from Candor because this thing is busting through the wall. Okay, when you said he was coming, I thought you meant from the other side, so I wasn't worried. Um, dexterity saving throw. Let's go plus three. Come on, please. We're fucked up. <laughs> Wow! Candor gets flung through the air when this thing busts through the wall. He gets flung onto the roof. He takes, uh, give me a sec. Oh, we'll just fuck. say, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, fuck. we'll do this. That is going to be three plus that. So that is nine damage. <laughs> this thing rolls. Is be uh, is now behind nuts and bolts and <laughs> He's bolts and nuts. Unconscious on the roof. I no, he has one HP. At... He's at one HP because he he, 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 he regained he he, he regained he regained some health from the the gi the giant the Titan Warforge drops the mare to the ground, and you see him look up at bolts and nuts and nuts and bolts and says, "We had a deal." You guys were just... The church said that you guys would come and help make sure this village runs smoothly. They turned him. Indeed, we did have a deal for us to help the village. But then we saw the activity that went on in this village. You're pretty secretive, but you made one big error. When you publicly announced to the adventurers... That the seven to fuck the seven fates now deemed as heretics, we will kill everyone in this village. And with that, because you guys ha have not made any attempt on attacking them, we are going to transition to story. Damn. I was about to uh, ask if I could still make a perception check. You can, because we are we are transitioning back to story. We are we are leaving the encounter. Okay, can I see if any of them have long ranged possible attack? For long in the future, long range attacks. Uh, yes. The. The warford, the smaller warforges have javelins, so they can throw. They have javelins that they can throw. Fuck. What about uh, the big boy? The big, the big guy. Uh, from what you can see, he only has uh, he only has just uh, nor like he just has what's on him to attack. But he is um. But you can tell from how big he is, he has quite a reach. Yeah. But with that, we transition to you guys are in the town. <laughs> I'm going to keep these up just in case you guys do any crazy dumb shit. I'm going to keep these on the board. That's fair. That's but fine. Right now, you guys are out of combat. You guys have not gone into combat against these guys. 
you see you see all the other automatons now bringing heads and bodies to the middle of the town and they are now surrounding you guys you are all Kandor are you just going to stay on the roof yes fuck <laughs> that alright Kandor is staying on the roof they're not really paying much mind to him actually give me a sec let's see if this Warforged sign notices you just chilling on this roof yes, I wanna he does hidden. not he, he surprisingly oh. does not fuck yeah he surprisingly does not. This man, this man rolled a fucking that one. So this fucking Titan is just focused on its job. You see them start piling the bodies, and you see bolts and nut, uh, bolts and nuts pull out his javelin, stab it into the ground, grab the mare, and put him back first through the javelin. You hear the mare screaming out in pain. And you see them back up, and they say, All heretics will be purged from this earth for the seven fates. And you see one of their hands turns into a flamethrower and lights the bodies ablaze, burning the bodies alive, or burning the bodies and burning the still breathing mare alive can Grim try to get away from Drugan you are completely surrounded by these guys they're not they're not letting you guys leave they're having you guys to watch attack. This. they're having you guys watch this you I mean you um, can attack you can attempt to break free and try to attack one of these guys uh hey is it possible? Alright, now Jebediah, is he just long, long gone, or did he like not get that far yet? Jebediah at this point is pro is pretty uh can I get Wait, just not- uh can I just get a perception check from you? There's a perception. Okay. See if see and I will roll a luck thing to see how far he got so far. I rolled a seven to try to get away from Drew again to lunge myself to Stop the burning. Uh, perception is unnatural twenty. Uh, Jebediah is a good uh two hundred feet away from you. You can see him in the distance in the desert. I rolled a thirteen on opposition strength. And he, Drugan keeps keeps grim. Drugan keeps grim. Detained. How Oops. far is my dash? Uh, you have thirty feet of movement, I believe. Yeah, so it's only sixty feet. But you I'm would, you would be, to... you would, I... you would, it like, you would just. I mean, you could chase after him. It's just you would need to wait till he stopped to catch him. I have an idea. You can also Misty Step. Don't forget, you have a Misty Step. You still have, um, I'm pretty sure you still have one left, potentially. Or potentially not. Let me double check. Uh, you do have, you, uh, yeah, actually you do. You, uh, cause now that you've leveled up, you, you, uh, oh wait, no, you only get one Misty Step per short rest. So you have to short rest. So no, you would have to just use your full, you would just have to use your six feet of movement to just chase after Jebediah. While you're on that roof, just take a quick nap. Actually, I have an idea. What's your just idea? To make it e- just to make it easier for me. I'm going to shoot an arrow at him. But I'm going to specifically aim for a leg to see hopefully I can get him to slow down. All right, can I get an attack roll? Okay. While all With, this is happening, and you said you said so. You you said you're using your short bow. Yes. This is with disadvantage. And why is that? Because how far it is. 
All right, time to become a even, fucking marksman. Yeah, even even with your proficiency, that's why you can shoot up to eighty feet. But at three hundred up to three hundred twenty feet, it is a disadvantage shot. And he is two hundred feet away from you. All right, let's do this. Yeah, okay. You don't hit him. Yeah, I was about to say, there isn't even a point in rolling yeah, again. You, ro- you rolled a goddamn two. Actually, but, give me give me one is, more roll. I want to see if you... Say, I want to see if you roll a nat goddamn one with your disadvantage. You hit, you hit one of the party members. Oh, no. I, I want to... I, I just, I'm just curious. Let's see. Give me a nat one, please. I no. can't... Damn it. I want, I want to stay and catch this arrow. What do you, do? you can't. You can. Oh, you wait. Can the arrow not be able to catch at least this arrow. get his attention? No. This no, arrow. This arrow barely gets twenty feet away from you. You just. <laughs> um, all right. I give but, up. I don't know what the fuck to do. All right. Does so. Does any of the robots see the arrow that lands right around them? You know what? Please Let me see. No. Let me see. Fuck. No. They're rolling LA. like they're rolling like shit on their perceptions. They Thank didn't know God. they're too focused on Thank this. God. They're, they're LA, too focused. <laughs> they're too focused on uh, what's going uh, on their uh, their burning. So with this, uh, you guys see this take place. Nuts and bolts and bolts and nuts. Ask again to Darina. Do you guys need help getting back to the HDA? Yes. It would be most helpful. At least okay. point us in the right direction. Go no, we will actually, because we are actually heading back to uh, Liber- uh we are going to be heading back there. Uh, we will act- gladly escort you guys all the way back to Liberio and back to the HTA. Grim Muffles, fuck you. All right, here we go. Another perception Ooh, check. Another small, another shitty roll by these boys. They did not notice. They are too focused on the burning. So with that, you guys have completely... No, it is completely necessary. We will gladly take you guys back to the HTA. We thank you. No problem. All right. Grim, I'm just saying. Let's get some rest, everyone. Okay. So, with that, you guys... You guys, you guys are luckily not going to be in combat. <clears throat> I am getting rid of this. You see from the giant Warforged Titan, a carriage pops out from behind him. <laughs> and bolts and nuts and nuts and bolts look at you and say If you if you guys need some rest, please hop in the carriage and we will start taking you we will start escorting you guys back to the HTA. Urena just kind of stares at the carriage. I'll take the first watch. Up and I start to stand up and I put Grim in the carriage with me, continuing to hold her because I don't trust her. Okay. Also, real quick, Grim. Can I get an insight check from you? Nineteen. Nineteen. Grim. Wait, nineteen plus so insight, 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 insight. Plus one so, no, plus three. So twenty two. Twenty two? Alright. I'm gonna you guys all hop in the carriage. Because you guys are not trying to comp- trying to fight these guys. You are 
you're doing as they say. That is the it's either you do as they say or you guys will be you guys will they will take you by force. That's the situation. It's either you go willingly or you are taken by force. But Grim for your insight, you do know that deep down you're hurt of what happened with Jebediah. But with your insight, knowing Jebediah and from what you saw from the Inquisitors when they said he's going to make this hard on us. You can tell that Jebediah probably could tell that these Inquisitors were on purposely going to capture him. That they were tasked with ta they were going to take Jebediah with them. So even though you're hurt that he left you have a feeling that Jebediah left because A. He potentially didn't want to put you guys in harm or B. He was trying to keep himself from being captured. Tavy, what did you just throw? So you guys are in the in the carriage that is being drawn by this giant ass warforge. Do you guys take a long rest? Yes. Well, actually, I can use a trance, so I'm only gonna take like four hours. I mean, it's still it's still it's still a long rest for an elf. A long rest. Yeah. yeah. Long okay. rest. So, Grim has cried herself into a headache. I have some bad news for Kandor. Oh, no. What? Even with a long rest, you will not be able to heal. <laughs> oh, shit. You need someone to cure you from this. Though, I will say, wait, give me a sec. Okay. Bolts and, no Bolts and Nuts notices this. Bolts and Nuts looks at you and says... We will as quick we will quickly uh as quickly as possible get back to uh we will find someone to uh cast restoration on you to cure you of this ailment. Uh real quick, when do you know when you uh were inflicted by this? Uh literally like five minutes ago, you fucking asshole. <laughs> So with that, so you do, uh, so with that, he looks at you and says, okay, good. So we still at least have 20, uh, we have 23 hours till the worst happens. The fucking what? It will take, a, it will take us at least, it will take us at least 15 hours to get to the next village. So let's just hope that there is someone who can heal you. We do have somebody, but no. And okay. you guys are on your way. Awesome. So you guys take your long rest. You heal up. You guys start. You guys wake up in the carriage. Nuts and bolts are kind of just sitting there near the door, kind of just like in what look like a shut. They are in their own form of a, a rest mode. Mode. Yep. Um. It looks like they fell asleep a little. At, they went. They went to take a rest a little after you guys all went to sleep. Okay, so as you guys are heading to the next village, you, uh, you guys enter into a new village. Nuts and bolts, exit the carriage. They look to you guys. And say, we are deeply sorry that you saw what you had to see. But you must know, it is all done for the safety and protection of this world. We don't do this out of malice. We do this to ensure peace. And if you guys want, you can do an inside roll on this. If you guys don't, you can. Yeah. It's up to you. Grim looks at nuts and bolts and says, is that how you sleep at night? One I, of them was a child. I am a machine, ma'am. I don't have the same emotions that you have. So, what, what was your insight? 13. 13? 
Uh, from what you can tell, you really can't get gauge too much because, again, they're machines, so you don't really get that big of an insight on them when he says that. But to an extent, you can kind of get this feeling that he does to an he does kind of mean what he says that for them it's just a job they were ordered to do what they were told to do and they did what they did they but from what you can tell they have no emotion and what did Jarena roll four a four. Jarena, you think this is complete bullshit. You think this is complete yeah. bullshit. You think that these guys are sons of bitches who killed killed a woman and a child. Killed a, uh, what 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 you think is a what was what you thought was a peaceful town. Yeah, you know that the seven fates are a big deal. And so far to Jarena, she doesn't know any of the this like seven fates are bullshit or any of that shit. You just no. know but you do know that, again, to an extent, what uh, Morzan figured out, that for them, it's just a job. You don't agree with it, but... I really don't. But you do know that... You do know how the, how the church feels about anyone who does not follow the seven faiths and what they do to ensure, quote-unquote, peace. With that... Uh, you guys do enter this new town. Uh, they exit, uh, nuts and bolts, exit the carriage. They look to, they look to you, Candor, and say, we will go and look and search for someone to help you with, uh, and give you restoration. We will be back shortly. And they head off. You guys can, uh, walk around this town. If you would like. You can wait. You can talk amongst yourselves because you guys are in this carriage all by yourselves. Is there nobody else around us? It's it's just a closed off carriage. What you can from uh, I will say you can hear because again these guys are fucking made of metal. You can hear that they are walking around. Like you can hear that it sounds like they're walk like the ten the ten like foot footmen uh are walking around to uh to shops to get um items. Like they're trying to stock up on more supplies. Jarena's I whisper kind of, quietly. Sorry, go ahead, Mikhail. I was just gonna say Jarena's gonna step out. Okay. Jarena steps out of the carriage. Uh Jarena, you see you are in a slightly less western town. This is a little more a little more closer to what you're used to. Um uh, but there's uh, still a lot of sand. Um, Verena was gonna try and like she wasn't gonna walk into the town. She was gonna walk into like you open guys are in the you are in the middle of the town. Oh, damn! I was gonna say she was gonna walk out into like open field and just scream. <laughs> I mean, you can't. You can walk outside of the town. Okay, she the the group can see that she she just kind of like. Is not showing much motion right now, and she's just walking outside. Darina, just... while Darina, while you storm off to the field to scream, uh, you notice a little beeping on your badge. No, it's arm. it's not on your arm. It's on your badge. It's on the the well, badge that's on your armor. I I know, but. Am I alone? Yeah, you are. You're outside of town. Okay, I see what's going on. You put your hand. You place your hand on it. Okay. You see, illusory script appear in front of you. You see Vladimir. Oh, Druina. Yes, sir. Uh, where the fuck are you? We're in Mara. Oh, why are you in Mara? I thought you guys. He he pulls out the file that uh, Drugan saw, where the, like all the quests mm -hmm. are put. He opens it up and pulls out your your quest that you guys 
You guys were supposed to be doing a labyrinth like quest in town. Yes, I mean, sir. For some reason, the labyrinth center created like a teleportation room and sent us here tomorrow. So, and I just kind of start explaining to him everything that's been going on and what happened the night before. So, what I'm hearing is you guys actually completed a quest? In a sense, we completed two. P completed two? You, you guys were only on one quest. Yes, we completed the labyrinth, but we were given another quest while we were here in town of defeating a slade. Well, that's not an official HTA uh, thing, that's so... Right. So, uh, but if you did defeat us, that, that's pretty impressive. Wait, you guys yeah. defeat us. I need a, I need you to give him a persuasion check. Can I do it with advantage? Cause it's true. No, no, no. Okay. That's fine. To be honest, that's you're, fine. you were going to do a disadvantage, but because you did, uh, but because you're in Mara, he does, he is giving some validity to the labyrinth quest. So he's, so. What what'd you roll? Mean so an unnatural twenty, unnatural. Uh, unnatural twenty. All right. Mm -hmm. Here's here, here, let's see, let's see, real quick. Let me pull him up. I will say Vladimir is. All right, Vladimir. Let's see if he if he believes you. I'm pretty sure he will. Yeah. My God, you guys defeated us with three different layers. Huh? It you see him pull. You see him pull out a book. You see him pull out a book, and he like scribbles something down, closes it, puts it back down, and he says, "Huh? Okay. So, uh, where are you now? Like, besides uh -huh. Inmara, like, where specifically in Mara might you be?" I. Don't know. We've been traveling for I think a day outside of a town. Um, do you was, know uh, what the town's I, name was? I don't believe Garena does. No. You guys never asked what the town's name was. <laughs> no. Okay. He pulls out the book and marks another thing down in the book, puts it back down. All right. All right. So you don't know exactly where you are. You're somewhere in Mara. All right. Hmm. Okay. Uh, are you by any chance being accompanied by any individuals? We're being accompanied by a bunch of automatons. Automatons? Right, you yes. mean warforges? Yeah. Uh, how many? Um, five. N no, no, ten. Ten. It's it's eleven. You are it's 11. it's ten it's Sorry. ten it's ten ra it's I'm ten nervous. yeah it's ten it's ten I'm regular 11. it's ten regular size soldiers and one giant titan. All right, ten regular forges and one gigantic titan one turned into a carriage. Wait, by any chance do these automatons have uh, a symbol of the seven fates on their chest? Uh, can I get a real quick uh, just? Uh, Let's just say a uh, perception check from Druina if she noticed. Okay. Unnatural 20 again. Okay, you did notice. So you do you do relay that you they do have yes. that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Inquisitors. Hmm. Did they help you with the slade? No. Pulls out the book, marks another thing down, puts it back. <laughs> huh. Can I make an insight check on what he's doing? Yes, you can. You 100% yes. cool. can. Natural 20. He is marking, you can tell right now, he is marking down a book. You can tell from how he's, like, you can kind of see from how he's writing because he's elvish and he's writing in elvish. You can tell by mm -hmm. based on his hand pattern. Uh, he is writing, the losers might not be losers anymore. They might need to be called their actual party name. They beat a fucking Slade. Uh, what the fuck? And then he also wrote, they did not get any help from the Inquisitors of the Church. Interesting. Also, they're kind of <laughs> stupid because they forgot to ask what town they are in. Bad time. Adventuring sure. 101. Bad <laughs> they should have learned this first year. He, uh, 
He's like, okay, okay, okay. All right. Can you by any chance? Mm-hmm. So, uh, real quick. Uh, mm-hmm. Also, real quick, out of curiosity. So, yes. Grimoire's missing. You by any chance know why that is? Like, I heard Kandor and Drugan were the last in the library before he disappeared. I do not. I don't know. However, okay. after, when we went into the labyrinth, we were being chased by an inky blob. Okay. I do. I have no records of that, but. Probably I, something you should look into, though. I have reason <laughs> to believe you. Main problem is Grimoire is still missing. Secondly, also, uh, uh-huh. reports are, uh, you guys were also, uh, you guys also picked up, uh, you guys took Emerson with you, uh, Nightboy. Is he still with you guys? Mm-hmm. Um, yes, in the process of the conversation, can no. I step out of the carriage? Yeah, you can step out of the carriage. Yes and no. What? Okay. At distance. Oh, wait, her. wait. Real quick, is he is he like in some little like animal form? Yeah, he's a little fox. Yes, we had that on file. We did have that on file. He did get expelled. That's why we were kind of we were kind of curious if he was still with you guys. All right. Yeah, he's so not kind second, of become, uh, Grim's familiar at this point now. I guess. Interesting. He writes it. He starts writing in his book again. Puts his book <laughs> back down. Okay. So he called, other she called him his little bitch boy. <laughs> That is also very interesting, but I did not need to know that. <laughs> Second thing, uh, I will get to you, Morzan, in a moment after I'm done with this interaction. Um, Thank God. Okay, so, all right. All right, so what I'm getting is you are in Mara somewhere. Emerson is fine. He's, mm-hmm. He is now, I guess, I didn't really need to know this, but he's uh, your little... Wait, what... Uh, real quick, also, head count. How many of you guys are still there? Like, I remember you had two gnomes, you had uh, two elves, uh, you had two uh, two barbarians, one a uh, one a uh, genasi and one a uh, dragonborn. We, we, we do have Drugan the genasi. We have Morzan, um, Morzan the dragonborn. There's of course me. Um, there's Candor the el- um, one of the other elves, and we only have Emerson and Grim as well. So, small little guy with a giant penis died, is what I'm hearing. Warren, yes, he was taken down by a owl bear. Skeleton oh. owl bear. He writes down in his journal, puts it back down. How okay. Does the principal or headmaster know about his giant? Listen, they hey. have not even know about his giant. Hey, you guys remember, you've done physicals at the school. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right okay so real quick you see him pull out a book uh like an, a wizard book from what it looks like uh, can i get an arcana check for me yeah. while he pulls this out and he opens up and starts flipping through it okay. that was cocked okay. um 16 16 you can just tell that, I mean, you can tell that this is his magic, like, this is his, like, magic book. Like, this is his, like, book of spells. You don't have any idea of what he potentially could be trying to do. hmm All right. Real quick. Yeah. All right. So, uh, you're somewhere in Mara. Mm -hmm. Can you describe the area for me? Yes. Can I describe it? Can, uh, so when you look around, you see desert, more desert, mountain, and a small, a small town. Mm -hmm. Yes, Morzan. Or Tristan. Since I am, I know this place. Well, basically I've been raised in this area is there any way i could do like a insight or history check or something you can uh the problem is too this interaction you would uh like i would need a high perception check from you to potentially see druina uh to be able to walk out and interact with this 
but uh, you can first do an insider history check to see where you're at. I would say history. Do a history. Do a history. Uh, Stay on the desk. History, history, history. 18. 18? You do not notice where Druina is. Uh, well, so that actually you said history, history. You do know where you're at. You are in, uh, you are in a town called, uh, uh, Gardos, which is in, uh, which is very close to the cat, uh, the capital, uh, human kingdom in, uh, in Mara, which is the, uh, which is the kingdom of, give me a sec. It is the, it is the kingdom of, uh, uh, where is it? There it is. Uh, the the Haven Empire. It is probably a good like two days away from the Haven Empire. Uh, can I get a perception check from you? Also, um, the um, just wanted to ask for Drina since she was like given into a lot of the uh, like politics and had to learn like from her classes. Would she possibly be able to kind of know maybe? I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just asking. Fifteen. You do not know uh, know where Druin is. Uh, give me a history check. I will say this is going to be high DC. High DC. Got it. Wait. So do I roll? No. You you've already you okay. you know where you're at. You just do not see where Druina is to be able to potentially help with this situation. Okay. 21. 21? Mm-hmm. What was it called? Garus? Um, uh, it's Gardos. 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 Uh, Gardos. Yeah, Gardos. Which is uh, two days away from the uh, the entrance of the Heaven Empire. Kingdom of um, Heaven Empire. And Mara. Uh, and what'd you roll? 21. 21? Mm-hmm. For history. That was a DC twenty five. I'm sorry you did not get it. Uh, okay. With with I that, just figured I'd at least know. yep. With that, uh, you do describe where this is. You give a loose estimation. You see him stand up and he says he claps his hands and just starts rubbing them. It's like, all right, I haven't done this in a while. You see what him you teleport. Doing, sir? You see him teleport. What the fuck? He. I'm gonna be honest. He was off target. <laughs> Based on your description. Huh. Uh, By how far? Huh? By how far? Well, that's what I'm about to roll. <laughs> oh, no. See, please say like 10 feet. <laughs> say 10 feet. It's going to be four next to me. hours away from us, asshole. <laughs> I will say, he's not as far as he could have been. He was, <laughs> he was off target. But... He was pretty dang close. Uh, so, he's how close? Uh, I will say, um, you won't know where he is, but I will let you know. Uh, from the sound of it, from uh, Druina, can I get uh, just an inside check to see if you... Th- inside? Yeah. Gotcha. Sixteen. Sixteen? You have a feeling that based on his like even though like he didn't look super confident about it, like because it's it, it looks like it's been a while since he's casted a teleportation spell for some reason. Like bro mm-hmm. has been just chilling in his like office for like a long while. Uh you have a feeling that he's on Mara. On Mara. Yeah. Okay. You don't you're not confident that he because you don't see him appear in front of you. Mm. You just have a feeling he's on Mara. That's about it. Mm-hmm. And the the little like blinking of your uh, symbol completely stops.
back to Morzan. Morzan, you 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 walked out of the carriage. Uh, you take a look around. You get you get a you 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 know this you know this village because this village uh uh of uh, uh Gardo uh Gardo is actually pretty close to actually your own village, your hometown. Uh, it's 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 a it's it's you are definitely a lot closer to the Heathen Empire than you are to uh your hometown. Your hometown is like a good you you know is like a good like week travel away from here but you do know that you are close yes drugan unfortunately i'm gonna have to stop for a little bit i can swap over to my phone and keep it uh muted though okay we're i mean we're almost near the end so okay all right uh so with that knowledge uh morzan uh you do take a look around the town. Uh, you do see uh, a tavern. You see a little shop uh, with some weapons and armor. You see another uh, general wear uh, general wares shop. Um, I'll find a, a uh, actually find me a bar, maybe a tavern. You head to the tavern. In the tavern, Adam back. Mm -hmm. you head to the tavern also real quick I have to alright I'm gonna do a roll off screen this roll I will say this is a, actually a pretty impactful roll um, you guys want something higher than a 15 Okay. Okay. All right. So, uh, you uh, so Morzan, you enter the tavern. You see that this town is full of. Uh, you can see as soon as you enter in this tavern, uh, you ha you you kind of didn't you haven't looked around really like at like like the race that kind of pro predominantly lives in this town. As soon as you enter in the tavern, you see that the um this town is full of uh dragonborns. This is a town of dragonborns. Uh just like uh But yeah, this is uh yeah, from when you enter in this tavern, you can tell that this is a town that's uh predominantly dragonborns. Uh you do see a few uh uh, Genasis and some other people stirred around, but it's primarily uh, Dragonborns. And you also do can tell that this town is a lot better off than the last, like than the one that you guys just left. Hmm. Um, I'll walk over to the bar. You walk over to the bar. Just sit on the stool and. Do so you sit on the stool? Popping up from underneath the bar. Hello there. What can I get for you? It's another automaton. And you are... I am the barkeep. What can I get for you? Something medium. Something ale. He whips out, like, from behind him, he whips out a, a glass, sets it down, and then a little spout uh, pours ale out of his hand, and he says, "That will be one gold piece, sir." Good time. Takes a gold piece. You drink. He kind of he kind of folds back underneath the bar. Uh, drew uh, Candor. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Uh, in the are you going to just wait for uh, nuts and bolts to and bolts and nuts to come back? Uh, Grim wants to talk to Candor. Grim wants huh? to talk. Yeah. All right. So, but primarily, real quick, what is Candor's plan? Are you trying to leave the carriage, or are you staying in the carriage waiting for nuts and bolts and bolts and I'll nuts right to come back? back? I'm kind of like switching in between, like being in it, being out of it, to kind of move around because I. I 
I'm going to be honest. I'm too scared to go fucking anywhere with being at one HP. Yeah. Someone just has to breathe on me, and then I'm having to throw a death death saving throw. All right. So, uh, Kandor, you are just staying there. Grim, you walk up to Kandor. No, so we're sitting in the carriage. Yep. And yeah. Grim has been looking out the window, dozing in and out of her long rest. And whenever people, she starts noticing that they get out, she looks over and she says, Candor, how does it feel? <laughs> what may I ask? Did you see my, did you see my DM, God? Let me see. I did. <laughs> did you see my DM, God? <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to do athletics wise so Grim pulls out her dagger and straddles him holding it to his carotid artery and says to be a fucking murderer okay can Wait, I get on, can, I, can I, I, I get can I get uh, A an opposed athletics check from Kandor and then secondly an inside check from Kandor Yo, what the fuck is she talking about? Hold on. I know exactly what she's talking about. <laughs> this is great. This is this is this is interesting. This is funny. <laughs> yeah, at first I thought she was just being kinky and then she was like murderer and I was like, oh shit. No, fuck. What did I do? How'd I get in this situation? I don't know. All right, so an opposed that works check. Oh, don't have me. <laughs> oh, baby. Okay. Uh, athletics. Also, I will say, um, lunch during is done with in this time lapse. Lunch is done with the um. You're heading to the tavern. Uh, Vladimir, she's going to go back to the carriage. Oh, okay. She's gonna go uh, to I made a 15 on the uh, opposed athletics check. You didn't make it. All right, and then I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do an insight. So at this point, Anthony, if you move even an inch, her blade is going into your throat. He rolled Doesn't a 10. He rolled a 10 for his insight. Grim, what does he see in this situation? He sees... Oh, I'm going to re-explain it. So she straddles on top of him, putting her knees right against his wrists so he cannot move. And she has her pointed sharp dagger right against the main artery in his neck while she's snarling at him. You know what? You know what? You know what I'm going to do? Candor is going to keep his cool. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck I did. Uh, Can I just get a raw intelligence check from <laughs> Candor? Let's just, let's just get a raw intelligence check from my boy. Let's see if he can just kind of piece together in his head. Well. You... You have some ideas. What are the ideas? I don't know what the fuck's going on. But out of all the main ideas, one sticks out like a sore thumb. And that one that sticks out like a sore thumb is that Candor in this situation feels like she's mad because he teleported out of the labyrinth. And that's all. Oh. Wait, then how did I kill somebody? Ask. It can't be Florence because he was dead when I was still there. She starts pressing to where there is now a little bit of blood trickling down your neck. Just all right. before. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. If that's the case. I need an attack roll, and if it goes over his AC, that will do damage. 
What's his I'm AC? I'm at 1 AP. If anything hits, I'm dead, motherfucker. That is an 11. Oh, it doesn't go through. <laughs> All right. Also, so actually, just, no, uh... Like, Oh yeah, Kandor is that one from the fucking giant fucking bitch slap bitch in through him. <laughs> oh my god, this man is at one HP. He's gonna be killed by his own party. Okay, so with that being the case, uh, you do you do stick it next to his neck. It doesn't start drawing blood, but it is pressing against his neck. Wait a minute. Hold on. Right, real quick, I'm gonna do something. This is mm -hmm. a pure this is just a pure luck roll. If A Druina is back mm -hmm. at the carriage cool. to see this, or B nuts and bolts and bolts and nuts make it. Cool. So a uh below a ten, it's nuts and bolts and bolts and nuts. Above a ten, it's Druina. Oh shit. It's an 18. Druina, you enter the carriage and you see this taking place. <laughs> she holds her other hand and just gives one finger to give her a minute. And she does not take her eyes off of him. Wait, wait. She opened the door, right? Yes. I cast Misty Step. You can do that. And I teleport. Uh, I'm going to end up teleporting out of the carriage. Grim's gonna hunt you down. Just out of. Karina right, is standing in just, front. Of just outside of the he'll, carriage. He'll misty step past you. Well, I'm talking about Grim though. Oh, okay. Karina's gonna yeah. stop Grim. Grim right, so casts misty step to go after him. Motherfucking bitch. <laughs> All right. Okay. Can I get? Okay. So if. Is Grim just fighting him in this situation to try to get him? Grim again? wants answers, and if he's gonna run away, she will kill him. Okay, I need a I need an initiative roll from both Grim and uh Candor. That's twenty. Plus one initiative, so twenty-one. I got ten, fuck. Alright, so Grim, you are the first to go. You are right. You guys are right, uh you're right next to him. Are... Oh, I, I wasn't even running. I just teleported out. I know, and she tell like... and she teleported right be and right behind you. She missed the step right behind you. So she is right next to you, and it is her go first. Grim, what do you do? Grim throws her dagger down okay. because. I was I was she's, so afraid that you were saying I am throwing my dagger at Candle. <laughs> no, she's gonna throw it right beside her foot, so it's gonna land in the ground, right. and she's gonna say, "You killed Florin. We wouldn't have ever gone in that fucking labyrinth if it wasn't for you. And now, because we came here and killed those Slades, a whole village is dead. Drugan almost died because of you." And you're just a son of a bastard. What's her AC again? Fuck around, find out. Actually, no. What I should be asking. Because I uh, get to do it first. She, she, still, she still has an action. She just used her interaction. Oh, right. So, Grim, what's your action? Are you... What you doing? Well, she just threw down her weapon, so like... That, that's that's not that... She have to use it. That wasn't an action. She just, she just, it's, that's an object interaction right there. Oh, hold on. Let us pull up. I was just going to say, can Jarena do something? I'm going to cast. Uh, Jarena, you can uh, roll an initiative roll. Okay, I'm going cool. to cast Minor Illusion on him. Mm. Oh, wait. Where is it? 15. I have. Okay, I so have a saving throw against What's being charmed, on? or an advantage against being charmed. Well, it's not charmed; it's, it's controlled. Not, it's not charm. Represents an attempt to resist it, a spell. 
Create a sound thing. or an image of an object within range that lasts for the duration. The illusion also ends if you dismiss it as an action or cast a spell again. If you create a sound, its volume can range from a whisper to a scream. It can be your voice, someone uh, else's voice, a lion's roar, a beating drum, blah, 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 blah. If you uh, create an image of an object, such as a chair, muddy footprint, or small chest, it must so be no larger. I want to create the image of Florin, dead body. Okay. So this. Lying at his feet to make so, him look. This is. um. So this is a saving throw from him. For uh, if he believes the illusion or not. Uh, which would it be? Wouldn't that be intelligence, it's, probably? It's investigation. Or... But it is an intelligence. It's an, it's an intelligence saving throw, is what you're actually doing. <laughs> fuck. It's eight. What the fuck? You, f- you fall back? for this. You see Florin. You think Florin is now appeared in front of you, Kandor. But remember this. I was still there when it happened. It do- it doesn't matter. So, you, you think you think Florin is now just no. I know that. You... But reaction wise, cool the thing heaviness. the thing is, you you guys never confirmed if Florin was dead or not. You guys assumed he was dead. Sure. Also, I rolled well, a fifteen for initiative. You rolled a what? Fifteen. Okay, so you will uh you will go after uh. Me. Yeah, you will go after Grim. Cool. So, uh, it is Druina's turn. Well, I'm gonna cast Entanglement on um Candor. What? Okay, can I, can, I get a, can I get a dexterity saving throw from Candor? <laughs> yes. Twenty one. He makes it. Fuck you, cunt. Fuck you. So he is not entangled, but he does have half. Movement. I want answers. You can get fucking answers when I'm fucking healed, bitch. All right, real quick, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do another roll, Candor. It is your turn. What'd you roll? <laughs> Why did you roll? I'm worried. Don't worry about it, Candor. It's your turn. <laughs> God fucking damn it! <sighs> you guys really are making this very tough on me. How close are them two together? Uh, Can I roll my initiative for this? Oh, yeah. Drugan would still be nearby. So, Drugan, give me an initiative roll. <laughs> Drugan's in the carriage. Yeah. <laughs> he watches all <laughs> He watches all take place. You rolled an eight. So, you are. That is actually. If Let me check real quick. I'm pretty sure. It should be. No, you are after Can. Yeah, so you're after Candor. Yeah, you're after Candor. Candor. Mm. What is your move? Dude, I don't. Ha- I don't have a map for this. I'm about to have to just use the last map we did. Probably. <laughs> there. Uh, All right. Real quick. Gemini is still. Gemini is gone. All right. Wait, if she was talking about Florence and the labyrinth, this motherfucker should know that shit. Why didn't he say anything? Uh, Grim, or, he's been in a coma, and Grim's not talked to him. All right. Um. Hmm. Oh, wait, what? What was it? What's this? Oh man, that sucks. Never mind. We are having a party. Be Candor with one HP. I would just love it so much if I could just like turn this whole shit around. <laughs> That'd be dope. Uh, Candor, what do you do? How close are they two together? They're they're all right next to each other. They're they they're uh, Jarena and uh, Drugan are in the carriage, and Grim is right next to you. Damn, where's that? I mean, I see a spell you can try to use on them. Yeah, like one. 
Oh, wait a minute. You got two. You have what? two different spells that will do two completely different things that will potentially help you in this situation. It's a slot. Well, I already used one of them, but that means I have three slots left. That's awesome. Um. Oh, no, I used... Oh, yeah, I really wait, why is it. Ice Knife showing up next to my Misty Step again? As Do second I also level. get oh. advantage for Emerson? No. Because he's with me? No. Because there's no way to explain how Emerson helps you in this situation. If like, he's trying to, if Emerson tells me to watch out, if he tries to throw a knife at me or something and I can dodge it. <sighs> mm -hmm. I'll allow it. Well, because his ice knife is an attack, it would be he would roll a disadvantage on his attack if he does use an ice knife. I cast Entangle. Entangle? All right, I'm you guys. Good. I will also... Yeah, I mean, you guys are all in the range for Entangle, so you all need to make uh, dexterity saving throws. You make dexterity? it. Yep. Or no, okay. strength. It's strength. It's strength. So 19 plus 3. Unnatural 20. Grim. Oh. Darina. Drugan gets entangled. Drugan gets entangled. But the other two are fine. All right. You still have your movement, Kandor. But you do only have half movement because you are in entanglement. Mm-hmm. Let me check. Which, depending on how she casted this, which I am assuming she probably casted it like so, mm -hmm. which is it's mm -hmm. 90 feet yep. of, so or a 20-foot cube, so. Yep. A twenty foot cube from this this direction, and then you just cast it another twenty foot that's this direction. So you will no matter what which direction you go, it's still twenty feet of entanglement. <laughs> Wait, j just just what I need to know. I need I need to ask this. So Drugan is sitting here watching this unfold, knows the reason why they're attacking me, knows the shit behind that, and just cho isn't choosing to say anything. Drugan. <laughs> I mean, his turn's That's next what turn. That's I want to know. Drugan's turn's next turn. On my turn, I will act. Oh my fucking god. Okay. <laughs> ah, beautiful. Your action gonna cost you to try to be untangling yourself, so you better choose wisely of what you do. Mm -hmm. You still have movement. Wait, I mean, you talking again. about Drugan or me? Because I'm not tangled. Drugan. You're not tangled, oh, okay. but you you still have you have twenty you have you have twenty. Uh, you have difficult terrain with entanglement. In general, you will you can only move fifteen feet away from them, and you will still be in entanglement, no matter which direction wait you choose. Minute, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Yep. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Oh wait! Never mind. Fuck. Yeah, you can I only you can only move fifteen in any direction. Nah, cause uh, wait a minute. I have two second level slots. It doesn't matter. You already cast it in Tangle. I know. Ooh, okay. But. Oh, never mind. I forgot about that part. I was about to say, I can do Misty Step again, and it's like, no, nah, one, per, one per short rest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Misty, Misty oh. Step is a fey, is a fey ability. So you can't, you sadly can't use that. More that would have been sick. Uh, this is. I'm trying to pick carefully on what I say. And I and and you guys. I wasn't even planning on this session to be done at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> I I I just asked her what the fuck you talking about. And she wants answers. Or she about again. You think it's just that you got teleported out of the out of the thing? I mean, technically, it is still your turn. You can make another intelligence check to see if you can figure this out. 
You could do the math and figure out why the fuck she's so pissed at you. Okay, okay, intelligence check. Let me just roll that bitch. Bruh! Bro, you th- you at this point, you think she wants you to answer uh, if you have feelings for her. <laughs> That's what you, that's where your mind's at. You're like, you're like, it's not, it's not about, it's not about me getting teleported. For some reason, Wait. she's bringing up Florin who had the massive dick who was a gnome. Like, it's either she got feelings for you or she had feelings for Florin. That's like, that's where your mind is at. It's, it's either, you know, and that's what she wants answered. <laughs> this is great. It's coming full circle. Does somebody make an insight to possibly like, oh, maybe he doesn't understand what the fuck we're talking about. On their turn. If they want to. (laughs) No. I'll just stay fucking quiet. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. I'm confused. Again. No, you do. You do have an idea what they're talking about. It's that. Oh my God. I'm not mentioning that. Oh, wait, actually, wait. I'm going to politely ask her if she could be more specific on what she is asking. Okay. Okay, do that. Politely ask me. Go for it. Andor? I'm trying to do my accent, but it's going to be hard with this fucking Pearson. Uh... Oh wait! While like rubbing the part of my neck where the neck was just at, I I, I asked her, "You're going to be you're going to need to be a little more specific on the details." Real quick, Grim, can I get an insight check? <laughs> she was not twenty. Be like, you have no, he know he has no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Ten. Ten. Hey Grim. Please yeah. tell me. When you see him do this, that. you 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 for you weirdly have a feeling that he's giving like kind of pouty eyes towards you, like he thinks that you like him. What the f- no, I wasn't doing that. Okay. Can I respond? This is bullshit. Hey bro, I it was did- your intelligence roll, that's what you're thinking, and she rolled an inside roll and her inside was bad, so she she did not actually get actually what you're She's oh just, she's just, God. she's just, she just sees you rubbing your neck and doing like, can you be more so specific? She was just holding a dagger. To hey, Why else hey, I be hey, my neck? hey, I'm God. <laughs> That's what happens when you guys roll bad. If you guys roll better, I might be able to actually help you guys out, but you're rolling like shit. So I gotta, I gotta do my God thing. You think this is because of a petty fucking crush? Are you joking? All right, so it's Are you that horrific <laughs> in the brain? Did you get hit too hard whenever you landed on the fucking roof? <laughs> All right. Were you hit too fucking hard? Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Your guys' conversation ends. Drugan, it's your turn. Please roll high enough intelligence to know what the fuck she's talking about. <laughs> you said I am entangled. Does that mean I cannot move? Drugan. I, I'm going to ask you to do this real quick. You see you see a little butterfly floating, and then it freezes, and then, it's, and then for a split second. Can I get a real quick, just simple, uh, let's do, let me look at your character. Yeah, we're going to do, we're going to do a wisdom roll. What the fuck? Oh, no. Morzan. Morzan is having a nice beer in the tavern, not having a clue of what the fuck is going on. Drugan, no. What did what did Drugan roll? Seven. The butterfly starts flying again. All right, I'm gonna really quick. I'm gonna do a roll real quick myself. Oh no. Okay. Because you rolled a seven, this is a DC 
20. This has a plus 2 to it. So you need an 18 or higher. An 8 was rolled. So God damn it. Nothing happens. Uh yeah, can I get a can I get a strength uh saving throw from Drugan? Yep. Dude. It was almost it was almost a 14 and then it just kept on teetering. Strength know, saving like, throw? Yeah, saving throw. They get untangled. <laughs> this is fucking great. Uh, 24. 24? You get untangled. Yep. Uh, and you do... So uh, all that you have is movement, but it is difficult terrain, and uh, you can... Uh, you still can talk to them. You just sadly won't be able to actually have an action. Because you had to use your action to get untangled. I start walking slowly towards the two of them as they are shouting and fighting in the middle of the road. Wait, real quick. Uh, Hey, you can you easily you easily get right next to them. (laughs) If you want actual answers as to what is happening, I can provide them. Grim snaps the head towards him and says, I'll get to you in a minute. If you want to know what's going to help, you will listen to me now. Uh, Or would you rather our comrades who just died die for nothing? He'll die for something. Goddamn. He will die. He will die for your ignorance. Alright, real quick. With that, with that, Nuts and bolts and bolts and nuts are here. They see what's going on. They have a little, a little Janasi standing behind, or a little no gnomish person standing behind them with with a little staff. Uh and nuts and bolts and bolts and nuts go. Uh, what is happening? A sparring match. Oh, I look, I look can I them. can I can I get can I get a persuasion check from uh from Graham real quick? Eighteen. Eighteen. All right. Let me. All right. Here we go. Again, they have a plus two to this. So they need a. They rolled a nineteen. Okay. No, no. All right, Grim. Grim, you you can decide. Grim. Please calm down. Also, Candor, we did find we did find this uh, this mage who can, uh, can uh, this little uh, cleric who can help uh, give you restoration to fix you of your affliction. Uh, I look to uh, the cleric. Uh, I kneel down, and I am saying, and I say, uh. I appreciate the help, comrade. Could you work as quickly as possible? Before right. that happens, since well, okay. he turns... I'm about, I'm about to roll their initiative. I'm about to roll the cleric's initiative. Ooh. Uh, Grim has... Uh, what was it? 20, 21? For your 20... initiative? Or... Yeah, I think so. Grim, 21. Because you rolled Grim, a nat 20. I'm going to tell you right now. So... I'm telling you right now. You better back off before I pull a trap card on your way. So you yeah, got. Since he so, turns around to face the cleric, does that mean I have opportunity of attack since I'm right behind him? Oh, absolutely. You can. You, so I would you, like you, to. Will, take well, him. well, real quick, the cleric has to roll. They have to roll. A nat, they have to roll a nat twenty to beat you out for initiative. If they don't, Andor is all yours. In this moment, because even <laughs> nuts and bolts and bolts and nuts, technically in their initiative order, they're not. They're after you, so they can't stop you either. Mm. In this moment, the cleric rolled a nat twenty. <laughs> Look God! The cleric, the cleric smiles and says, uh, "No problem, young man." Places his like places his old wrinkly hand on your head. And says, 
RESTORATION! And... Kandor, you still have one HP, but you are no longer inflicted by Chaos, uh, Chaos, uh, Fadri, so you will be able to heal in the future. So since but I it is Grim's turn, Grim. What do you do? <laughs> since he's turned around, I want to kick him with an unarmed strike, and so he can face plant. Okay. Well, I mean, it wouldn't even be an unarmed strike. It would just be kicking. Which well, it, that that it counts as an unarmed strike. Okay. Uh, yeah. Attack roll. He's 20. gonna go to sleep. Twenty. That does four damage to Kandor. Kandor, you are uncon you are unconscious I would like doing to disengage death disengage and just walk away. And doing death saving throws. <laughs> Alright, death saving throw. Where's it at? Fuck, where's that? Can Kandorina just walk up after Grim has finally walked away and just <laughs> um Oh gosh, where do I have it? Fuck, I don't know if I have it now. Uh, Shit, Jarena, Jarena does not, uh, is act, uh, no, you have a, did you, uh, did you put down that you took your long rest? Yes, I did. You have a cure, wo uh, wounds. Okay, I will cast cure wounds. Okay, uh, 1d8, uh, 1d8 plus 1, so roll your... 1d8. You're healed for three. Real quick, wait before you sp you, you cast that. I'm gonna roll mm -hmm. something. Okay. Okay, they're not gonna do it. Not gonna do what? Not gonna do it. I wanna okay. roll an insight. <laughs> I wanna right, roll, roll an insight. Roll an insight. Cool. Seventeen. Uh, this old cleric is also a mage and was about to ca uh, cast counter spell, <laughs> and th but they Bro, but they pa but they <laughs> passed out. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me check something real quick. All right. Uh, also, uh, Candor, you are back to three HP. You are no longer you are no longer unconscious. All right. So you oh, guys are out of you guys are you guys are out of combat. Out. Actually, wait. Hold on. I kicked him so hard he became unconscious. <laughs> Making death saves, yes. He had one HP. Also, I'm I'm so glad that happened it after the player. I will say. Oh, it was a nat twenty? Yes, it was a nat twenty. I need a DC roll from I just need a straight constitution saving throw from Candor right now. Twelve. Twelve? You made it. All right. Okay, good. To be honest, right, it was um, it was it, it was you just needed to not roll an out one. Because if you rolled an out one, it was instant death. Candor would have died right there from a kick. Kicked you so hard that it scrambled your fucking brain. Also, I am so happy that that did not that the cleric didn't roll below that because if it's a fun fact about Chaos Fadge. Fadgy or Fadgy, whatever the fuck it's called, specifically called for the last part. Uh, if Kandor went down to zero HP, he would have became a Red Slade. Kandor would have been dead, and a Red Slade would have appeared. Fuck. He would have turned into oh, a Red Slade. Yo, uh, God, can you yeah. check your DMs real quick and just give me a yes or no answer? I got you. Yeah, I'm gonna let you guys fight your own battles. It's so a good I question, isn't it? It's a good question. Candor, Candor can do this if Candor wants to do this. But but would I have to roll for it? Because technically, I don't think it's lying. No, you don't have to roll for it. This is just I, you. Uh, actually, no. Give me a persuasion check, and I will oh, say I this persuasion check. Uh, yeah, just give me a persuasion check. Is this towards Grim because she's walking away? Not twenty. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Wait, with this check, could I just tell them like not to go a hundred, but more like ten percent into it? I'm going like to roll. That- I'm going to fucking roll right now. <laughs> there is no going back from this. If this well, no, is no, a, it, no, what I'm saying is you've already made your roll. What you said it has been said. You've whispered what you whispered to him. Oh fuck. This roll, if it is higher, if this is higher than a six, uh, eighteen. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say an eighteen. If this is higher than an eighteen, if this is an eighteen, nineteen, or twenty, what's going to happen is going to happen. Okay. The die has been rolled. Okay. What is happening will be happening. Okay. So, as you whisper this to Nuts and Bolts, Nuts and Bolts looks at you, looks at Grim, looks back at you, and says, thank you. And says, all right. So, now that that has been taken care of and you are healed and you are no longer suffering from chaos, uh, uh, Fedri, uh, we do not have to worry about you becoming a slave now. Uh, we will continue uh, to escort you and the others, and don't worry. We will take care of the little issue that you have brought to our attention. With that said, uh, please enjoy the town. Uh, we will be heading out uh, in a couple hours. I will see, and we will take care of what we need to take care of. Uh, and they walk I look away. to the cleric. I they do they the cleric is completely cleric? asleep. You have oh, to, he went yeah. to sleep. Yep. God damn it. He he looked. So from what you can tell, they woke up this old ass cleric. Told him, "Hey, we need you to ca- cast a restoration spell." He said, "All right." He dragged his old ass to give you the restoration spell, and right before he tried to counter spell because. He had no, because his, because he didn't know what spell Jarena was casting. He thought Jarena, because he saw they were they were attacking you, that Jarena was uh, sending an attack spell. So he went to counter spell it, but passed out before he could do it. Great. Though with that, you guys, this will be the end of this session. Can I please know? Since I was still standing there, is there any way I can try to figure out what he whispered? Can I get a I'm perception here. check? I'm here. Yep. Remember, I rolled a You weren't there. Well, that wasn't a sneak. No, it wasn't. But... I need I need a perception check from uh Drugan and Jarena. I That is a ask... nat 20, bitch. Okay. Jarena, this will be with disadvantage for you because where you were standing. <laughs> Natural 20 and a natural 19. <laughs> so natural two. Got it. So two plus whatever for your insight or for your perception. So unnatural 21. You said, wait, what, what did you say? You said you a natural 20, natural 20. 20. Oh, she, you, you got cut off. 19. You got cut off when you, when you did that. I thought you said natural two. Okay. So both, uh, so both of you guys do, uh, here. Can they both be messaged privately? Actually real quick. Mm-hmm. I will ask uh Candor, can you give me a stealth check? Ooh. And yeah, also probably. and also to answer your question, Candor, what? they can be messaged. But I don't think you have message as an option. You do not. Oh no, I was meaning like since their characters are gonna know, but because they were the only ones to hear it. Well, I need uh I need a stel- I need a stealth check from you. you Alright, stealth check. And depend on this roll. Nah, fuck. I was about to say to get uh, past mine, you might roll a nat 15, twenty. Well. He, you you need a nat twenty four, Drugan, but you need anything. Yeah, it was it was a fifteen. Fifteen? Okay, so both Drugan and Drina hear this. Kandor when he lifts up his head from getting restored. He whispers, I think Grim is a heretic. You. And that is all for this session. Hope you guys enjoyed another session of the, of the Fate of Van Der on the Natural Ones. See you guys Perfect. next time. I hope you.
Anthony, I hope you know this right here, right now. Drina does not trust you at all now. This, just because of that. This session went off the goddamn deep end. You know, oh my it went god. Better. It would have went better if somebody, somebody could have came at me with questions and not a knife at first. Oh my god. You got What do you expect? Jesus Christ. For the shit you pulled. 